This is Living Power with Dan Hurst. The third thing is that God is not pleased with, I love this, fools. I remember growing up, and I remember I grew up in a very, very conservative, you know, your hair is touching your ears kind of Christian home. Um, where you just didn't do things, you know, it, 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 you, know you, just, you didn't dance, you didn't read comic books, you certainly didn't play cards. And, uh, uh, and you just had to wear your hair a certain way, just all of those things. And one of the things that we were told is you never call anybody a fool. Well, I mean, that's just opening the door up, you know, to a 12-year-old kid. <laughs> and so my brother got called fool so many. There were so many other words I could have used, but fool was the best cuss word ever. You're such a fool. I'm telling mom, you'd be a fool if you knew. <laughs> And so, uh, and so we were told, don't, don't, you never say fool. You don't, don't call anybody a fool. Um, but the Bible talks a lot about fools. It mentions the word many, many times. And I want us to take a real quick look at this about what the Bible says. Now, what is it that's so displeasing to God about fools? Well, it's a, it, it, it's, well, first of all, it's very clear in Ecclesiastes 5.4. It gets, says, he has no pleasure in fools. Well, if he has no pleasure in fools, let's find out if you're a fool. What is it that makes up a fool? What does that mean? The Bible defines a fool in some rather interesting ways. The same verse in Ecclesiastes indicates that a fool is one who makes promises to God but doesn't keep them. That's a fool. Somebody who makes promises to God and doesn't keep them. That's in Ecclesiastes. The Bible says, and I love this, Psalm 14.1, an atheist is a fool. The fool says in his heart, there is no God. They are corrupt. Their deeds are vile. There is no one who does good. I think it's important to understand that I and we as Christians, it's not our job to tell an atheist that they're a fool. But God says it. God says it. I love, oh, I will tell you that I, I got so tickled that uh, former pastor of Lou Miller, uh, used to say that somebody says that they're an atheist. Most atheists are very arrogant. They're very proud of being atheists. You know? I am an atheist. You know, they grab their, their car. And Lou would say, well, what kind of atheist are you? Are you a New Testament atheist or an Old Testament atheist? <laughs> uh, they go, what do you mean by that? Say, well, the Bible says in Psalm 14.1 that, that a fool says in his heart there is no God. So an Old Testament atheist is one who doesn't believe there's a God. Drop the first color, you know. And the New Testament says in Romans 1, chapter 1, says that every man knows that there's a God. So a New Testament fool or liar or atheist <laughs> is a liar. So are you a New Testament atheist or an Old Testament atheist? You know, boy, they just really get upset about that. I wouldn't try doing that with atheists. It's just no point in arguing with them. Because the point is, is not if they don't want to seek God, they're not going to find God, period. That's just the bottom line. But God says, the fool says in his heart there is no God. Proverbs 10.18 says that whoever spreads slander is a fool. Whoever spreads slander, whoever goes and maliciously assassinates people's character is a fool. Verse 23 of, of Proverbs 10 says a fool finds pleasure in evil conduct. Proverbs 14.16 says that a fool is hot-headed and reckless. A fool is undisciplined, according to Proverbs 15, 5, where it says, a fool spurns his father's discipline. A fool is opinionated without knowing all the facts, Proverbs 18, 2. A fool finds no pleasure in understanding, but delights in airing his own opinions. That'd be a good one to memorize, by the way. A fool speaks of perverse things, Proverbs 19.1. Better a poor man whose walk is blameless than a fool whose lips are perverse. A fool is hot-headed and loves to quarrel, according to Proverbs 23, where it says that every fool is quick to quarrel. Proverbs 26.11 says, a fool makes the same mistakes over and over and over. It says, a fool repeats his folly. A fool can't control his anger, according to Proverbs 29, 11. A fool gives full vent to his anger, but a wise man keeps himself under control. 
Ecclesiastes 10.3 says that a fool has no common sense. Even as a man walks along the road, the fool lacks sense and shows everyone how stupid he is. No wonder God is displeased with fools. So God is displeased with fools. On behalf of Dan Hurst and the Open Class, we want to thank you for watching. We hope it was a blessing.